Hello, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It is February 27, 2017. I am somewhere, uh, and uh, sometimes AM. Uh, a while back, I kept saying that I'm not fighting the apartment complex management or insurance company insurance companies or my employer I'm fighting the state fighting the state now I confirm with that but also fighting the federal government because every every crime is committed by corporate America banks HMOs telecommunications uh, anything it has to do with Anything has to do with anything. It is controlled by the Zionist International Terrorist Organization. And I don't think the government has any say over it. Why? Again, because they own the government they own the politicians and they own the Federal Reserve and the World Bank and NAFTA and the Pacific Rim everything owned by these few criminals that they are controlling the whole globe and continue to commit these heinous crimes against everyone. And I am not saying that because all the things that I experience, because Qada Allah, Alhamdulillah, I am very pleased, in fact, that I have experienced that in this period of my lifetime because Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah because I wouldn't be again the person I am today if I didn't go through what I've done through and it's all Allah and I am very happy and I'm very pleased and I uh, in fact I don't have enough I'm enjoying the ride and uh, just my my concern is about the United States of America government how could they let this Hizb shaitan the party of shaitan Qatalat al-Anbiya these insects gain sickles control the whole globe the way they, they do and continue to commit these serious crimes against the humanity everywhere especially Ummati Muhammad. Why? Because again, they know very well that their end on the hands of Ummati Muhammad. It is not some that we invented. It's not because we are, uh, because we, Ummati Muhammad, we Rasulullah, we all, everything we created for 
La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah It's not a choice for the good to do good and for the evil to continue to do to be an evil doers because this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decree no one has a choice no one has a choice and alhamdulillah for the hidayah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon us so we can earn and live a good life here and earn the hereafter and uh, uh, so every time I have some experience with these humans with these criminals that we continue to defy and uh, continue to enslave the masses and continue to to defy the resistance and defy and declare and defy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and commit crimes and continue their war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger and the seeing with jail that's supposed to be standing for this it's an opportunity I don't understand why why are we being complacent it's an opportunity to earth mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to do jihad fi sabil Allah and stand in the face of a, 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 a tyrant and uh, scream <laughs> and say that this is not going to jive because it's wrong, it's injustice, it's crimes. I don't know why, why we are just being complacent, why we are holding to this life and uh, refusing to uh, sell our dunya for, to earn the akhirah, to earn the hereafter. Uh, anyway, I just surprised. <laughs> uh, we Ummati Muhammad, we are here, we are everywhere. We don't back off, we don't get intimidated, we don't compromise our deen, and we don't negotiate deen of law because it's not an option. And for those among us that they are selling our deen, selling their akhirah for their master's dunya, ittaqillah, ittaqillah, ittaqillah. That's it. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.